So in this video, we'll talk about another Python uh, module in the standard library called the diffLib module. It contains few classes and functions that helps you in finding similarity between two sequences. For example, if you want to find the similarity score of two strings, so there are functions in that in this module that will help you with that. So let's start by importing a class from the diffLib module called the sequence matcher. So from diffLib import sequence matcher. Okay. Um, so let's suppose we have two strings str1 a b c d and we have another string str2 that is a b c d e now we want to find are these two uh, two strings similar and what is the ratio of the similarity so let's just initialize the class first sequence matcher and then the sequence matcher class takes in two parameters a and b and it will always compare b with a so the ratio that we'll get will always be how much b is similar to a so let's give it a equal to str1 and b equals str2 um, and let's just print the ratio so sq dot ratio let's see what it gives us so it just gave us a ratio of 0 0.8 so now we can say that str2 is 80 percent similar to str1 so if we just make it completely similar so it will give us one and if it is not at all similar maybe like qwer and it will give us zero so this is how it works and it comes in very handy when you are like trying to figure out like uh like did you mean these like when we t when you mistype something maybe when there's a typo error like we're going to write apple apple but we write appl so at that time we can find a, a similarity score to help us with what word we meant so there is another function in this diffliff library uh, called get close matches and how this functions works is uh, it if you give it a string and a list of strings it will give you the top results that are similar to the given string so let's um, comment this part and uh, let's just uh, create a list of words call it word list equals maybe uh, a b c d e and uh, maybe c d a d e f and c d e a so we want to find uh, the most similar the most similar word in this list that is similar to str1 so what we'll do is get close matches and we'll give the string first str1 and then we'll give the list word list and there is a uh, argument called n uh, that takes the number of top similar words that you want to output so we'll suppose say two and there is another uh, parameter called cutoff so cutoff takes the minimum ratio that it needs in order to uh, like classify it as that, that it is similar so suppose if you get 0 0.7 maybe or 0 0.6 so the ratio of this word with this word has to be minimum 0 0.6 for this to to classify it as yes is similar so we'll just uh, maybe save it in somewhere matches and we'll print matches so let's see so I just gave that ABCD is similar to ABCD and ABCDE uh, let's do something we'll write it as maybe ABCDE and we'll make this 
is like A, C, D, E, then F, G, H. And then I will make, a, let's check it out. So it just gave us one result A, B, C, D, because it is the only thing that is uh, similar to this. So if we decrease this cutoff maybe to 0 0.3, so now it gave us two words because now the minimum uh, similarity score that it needs in order to classify it as similar to this code is 0.3 so that's how it works and let's let's move on to another class in this diff uh, module called differ so let's just uh, comment this part and import it we have differ so, so suppose we have like two strings like two text bodies and we we'll call it txt1 and it is a multi-line string so maybe hello world we like python and then uh, text to is like hello world uh, we like python coding so now suppose we want to find like which part of the strings are similar which are not similar then again we will compare text 2 to text 1 just as we learned from here like you can always compare B with A so let's just initialize the class first maybe call it diff equals differ and uh, you get the df equals diff dot compare it will take in two uh, strings text one and text two so this gives us a generator object uh, so in order to help printing this will and actually take sequences so this is actually a sequence of character so it's better if we just Maybe split or uh, let's say split lines. So let's import a pretty print to help us with this and uh, like from import print. You don't have to like import anything in the middle of the file just just for demonstration purposes and we'll pretty print df so let's see okay, so this gave us a generator object and let's compare convert it to list so now let's see okay so see it gave us a uh, Oh, like a human readable comparison of the two text bodies like hello world is same in both those uh, in both the uh, text and we like python is different than we like python coding you know, showing us what is different this coding part is different so this is how we can uh, use this module called diffleaf check the link in the description below for the written article of this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.